Hey everyone, this is Josh from Before. I'm here with McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Arsenal from the upcoming Titans wave. This was sent over by our friends at McFarlane Toys. We appreciate them for that. This whole wave is up for pre-order right now. Some people are starting to find it in stores. Probably going to be shipping any moment. Take a look around the box. We're going to be building Beast Boy. There's that if you need it. Let's get him out. All right, here is Arsenal out of the box. Pretty interesting looking Archer figure. You know, I think he kind of comes across looking a little androgynous between the really slender frame, the uh, kind of softer facial features, and then the way these straps come up over the pecs. But this is a pretty cool looking outfit here. Uh, the texture kind of printed into this red part and there's still wrinkles over there, so keeps it from looking too simplified and cartoony. And then the brown has what looks kind of like leather texture throughout that. Tons of cool pouches all along the belt, different shapes and sizes. Looks like he went out and got some sucky tattoos here. Those decals are pretty fun. Uh, and my favorite detail is this baseball hat. I'd be picking this figure up just for the baseball cap alone. Start moving the head around, which has a ton of range. You're gonna be a little annoyed though if you want him to look up, because his hair, look at that. It hits that collar just like that, and I can't. I really can't get it past that, get it the hairline over that collar to look up a little farther, but looks every other way. Usually I like when the character has goggles, I, I do prefer when there's translucent plastic and you can see the eyes underneath. These are just painted. The shoulders don't have that normal butterfly rotator cuff sort of movement. They were very tight here in these sleeves. Go through all of the motions here, bicep cut. Great little details, like the stitching even is on the straps on his arms. I like stuff like that that keeps it from just being completely simplified, cartoony. Sculpted details in there are nice. Of course, got great side to side and back here in the diaphragm, but nothing forward. This is just feels like too many figures in a row that can't crunch forward at all. I feel like it's time to start getting past that. We gotta, we gotta get some more crunch out of these figures, especially a character like Arsenal, who's very athletic. Pretty great movement in the legs, though. The ankles are sculpted and. Got some pretty cool looking kicks on here. It's an interesting character design. I think the legs end up looking a little plain. They're just a little bit too much, too much of uh, the same color plastic unbroken there. Now he's got a few accessories. He's got this really sharp looking quiver that is gonna plug into the back. Love all the details on here, the stitching, these different pouches and straps over it. That's gonna peg in like so. We got this uh, cluster of arrows. We got a little bit of paint there on the feathers at the end. You can wedge those down in the back. They don't uh, for, feel particularly snug when you push them down there. They, they float around a little bit. And he's got this bow, which is fun, modern, a little cartoony. Got some cool details sculpted in here. Okay, so the bow fits in the hand. The bow is a pretty fun little accessory. You know, the, the string here, it's got a bit of give to it. The trigger fingers work really perfectly for holding the bow string, and it kind of gives you the idea of guiding that arrow with your finger. But there is no arrow. There's no single arrow. They've given us this big bushel of arrows here that just go in there and not a single arrow. We the Avatar figures were like this, where they had a bow and no arrow, and we just got it. We got to get past this. You, if you're gonna give us an Archer character, you got to give us that arrow because, I mean, let's be honest, right? Arsenal not necessarily a must-have character, right? Well, if I saw a really cool-looking Archer figure that had a single arrow, and I could imagine posing that in a really cool way, 
uh, that might be enough to push me over the edge and get me to pick up this figure. Not having that feels like a terrible oversight, especially when you have a bow as cool as this. It works. You can really hold it back. Ah, damn it. Now with the rest of the Titans thus far, we'll be building Beast Boy soon. It's a pretty cool looking little group of figures, but it is frustrating. You know, you see this group, Arsenal here is probably the least compelling, the lowest on the list of must-have characters from this group. They could have made him the sleeper hit. They could have made him a must-have archer figure, and they left out that arrow. It just, uh, it's killing me. Either way, I would have totally been picking this dude up just to get that baseball cap, though. Decide for yourself if you need to get him or not. Thanks again to McFarland Toys for sending this over for review. I will talk to you all very soon. We'll be building Beast Boy. Thanks for watching. Bye.